Welcome to the University of Pretoria and this session on Financial Awareness. In this session, we are going to discuss the cost of studying at the university, your account, and how to obtain bursaries and loans. Financial services are located at the Client Service Centre. The Client Service Centre has offices and staff on all the campuses and is called the CSC for short. The CSC is a hub where we present financial help, residence inquiries, general inquiries, student cards and numerous other services. What does it cost to study at the university? <laughs> it's expensive, lots of money. If you are not in a residence, tuition fees will vary from 22,000 to 44,000 Rand. However, if you do stay in a university residence, which includes your bed and meals, the total cost could vary from 68 to 88,000 Rand. This excludes books and personal living costs. When are these costs due to the university? We break your account into two parts. The first 50% is due by the end of April and the other 50% is due by the end of July. How do you know how much you owe? You need an account with a correct postal address. The university posts an account at the end of March to the address you filled in on your application form. This must be the address of the person responsible for paying your account, usually your parents. It's your responsibility to update this address online on the UP portal should it change. The detail of your account is displayed on the Student UP portal. How about this scenario? What happens if your account is not fully paid by the end of July? I don't want to scare you, but the answer is on the next slide, which is a quiz. Can you guess which one is right? No, oh no! Gates locking you out! Deregistered? Alarm signals? <laughs> Let's see. The right answer is that your exam results will be blocked. This means that you will not see your marks for your June exams. If you cannot afford to pay your account in full or partially at any time during the year, it is your responsibility to apply online for financial aid and come to the Client Service Centre for assistance. Just a note for those of you who are in this lecture and who have brothers or sisters already at this university. There is a discount if there is more than one sibling from the same family at this university. Since we do not know that you are related, inform us at the Client Service Centre and apply for this discount. Let's look at your options to get financial assistance. First of all, your parents could get a study loan from a bank at a lower interest rate. Or you can go to EduLoan, which is a private company that does low interest rate student loans and has an office in the Piazza on the Hatfield campus. Education students, our future teachers, can apply for a government bursary called FUNSA. And other students can apply for government NS FAS loans. The university has numerous support bursaries which you can apply for. And you can also apply for bursaries at private companies. The University of Pretoria offers achievement awards which you do not apply for as they are based on your grade 12 results. If you do qualify, you will receive a pleasant surprise in your April account. For leadership awards, you need to apply on the Student UP portal. If you were in the top of a National Olympiad for Science, Maths or Accountancy, you are eligible for a leadership award. If you were in a leadership position at school, you could also qualify for a small award. For these leadership awards, you have to apply and you need to submit a testimonial from your school as proof. As new first years, it's crucial that you apply for these bursaries, loans and leadership awards.
to apply for these bursaries and awards, remember to visit the student portal. If you need more information on study costs, financial aid or bursaries, please visit the Client Service Centre. The fee and funding information is also on the web at the following address. The Financial Information Brochure will provide you with this and more information. Please take the time to read this and familiarize yourself with the various aspects that affect your university account and finances. Thank you and good luck with your studies.